Hello Unicorn friends, welcome back to Unicorn Book Club. Today is Whimsical Wednesday. Whimsical Wednesday is pretty much uh, a day when I review books that are good for gifts. You know, maybe you want to give it to a friend, a family member, crush, fans, you get the idea. So today we're going to be reading from the films of Harry Potter, Honeydukes, A Scratch and Sniff Adventure. Now that that's all said, let's move on, but keep calm and sniff on. From the films of Harry Potter, Honey Dukes, A Scratch and Sniff Adventure, by Daphne Pendergrass and Jenna Ballard. Do you smell that? The sweet, buttery scent waf wafting through the air? Let me smell it. Mmm, that smells like butter popcorn. Whatever you're craving, Honey Dukes is sure to have something for you. For the adventurous wizard looking for out of the ordinary tastes, one need look no further than Bertie Bott's Every Flavor Beans. Sardine, curry, grass, earwax, cinnamon, liver, vomit, bogey, sprout, baked beans, pepper, and tripe. I think we have to smell the vomit. Ew! Disgusting! What the bloody hell was that? George swears he got a bogey flavored one once. Ron said that, by the way. And, um, ooh, another jelly bean. I think it's, no, it's earwax. Ew! Like I said before, what the bloody hell is that? Ooh, this is going to be good. Chocolate frogs, 70% finest croaker. Let's smell one. Ooh, that smells so good, guys. These aren't real frogs, are they? Harry asks nervously. But that's not all. The Honey Duke's Express trolley is filled with all kinds of confections. Ron was enticed by a licorice wand on the trolley in his fourth year before deciding against it due to the high price. Let's smell it. Mmm, that smells like licorice for sure. Ron did buy a packet of Dribble's best blowing gum for two sickles. This extraordinary blowing gum makes bubbles that last for days and comes in Honey Duke's delicious extra strong crazy berries flavour. Anything from the trolley dears? That's quoted from the trolley lady. And let's smell it. Mmm, that smells not too bad. I like it. Lots of other fruity sweets can be found on the trolley, including the succulent fizzing whizbies. These chocolatey fizzy fruits actually buzz in your mouth. Though if a buzzing sweet is what you're looking after, don't overlook the fudge flies. Let's smell one. Mmm, that smells nice. Besides fruity sweets, the trolley also has, sells savory snacks. Let's smell one. I think it's a pumpkin pasty. Oh, that smells pumpkin-y to me. Chocolate and dynamite, a classic combination. Exploding bonbons are sure to add a bit of excitement to a regular day and perhaps a way to shake off any sleepiness first thing in the morning. Let's smell one. Ooh, that smells like it's going to explode. Oh, no! A treat fit for Fred and George Weasley, Acid Pops, can double as a practical joke since it only takes a few licks to burn a hole in one's tongue. Oh, my God! In the meantime, let we might as well smell one. Mmm, I can already smell the sour. But I mean, it still smells pretty sweet either way. Much like acid pops, there are more than a few sweets at Honey Dukes that one must consume with caution like fiery black pepper imps. These fiery little treats are one of the hottest sweets around, literally. During Ron and Hermione's first visit to Hogsmeade, they brought back a stash of Honeyduke sweets, including pepper imps, to share with Harry, who wasn't able to go on the trip. Be careful of those. Ron warned about a second too late. They'll make you... Whoa! Let's smell them. I really don't want to, guys, but... Ew! I hate it already! Get it away from me. Another dangerous confection that nearly got the better of Harry were licorice snaps. These feisty black licorice flavoured nibblers were left in a bowl in Professor Dumbledore's office. Harry, do feel free to indulge in a little licorice snap in my absence, but I have to warn you, they're a wee bit sharp. Oh God, I guess we'll have to smell them. I don't really like black licorice, so it might not end well. 
Okay, doesn't smell too bad, but not my favourite. Oh my god, oh my god. Dumbledore was very fond of many sweets. His favourite, sherbet lemons, they smelled so good, were even a password to his office. Now that we've read that, let's smell it. I really like this one. It smells so lemony, but so sweet. It kind of smells like a Skittle. A blood-flavoured lollipop. Oh my god, who'd they kill? Any Hogwarts student who needs a little pick-me-up during an afternoon class knows to break out a sugar quill. Perfect for sneaking it, taste while pretending to think extra hard about a difficult exam question. Don't just, de just don't devour the whole thing before the exam is complete. Let's smell it. Oh, that smells fruity to me. I like it. Jelly slugs. Let's smell them. Ooh, their smell is also fruity. I kind of like them. Ooh, this is going to be good. This is going to be very good. No melt ice cream. Wizards can savour their Sundays for as long as they wish with no melt ice cream. Every muggle's dream on a hot summer day. This chilled treat is stored right in the Honeyduke's cellars, not too far from the secret passageway back to Hogwarts. Let's smell it! That smells like ice cream to me and I really want some. Mom, do we have any in the freezer? Eek! Don't be alarmed. This creepy crawly is actually a delicious caramel confection. Ooh, I love caramel. Let's keep going. Anyone who can look past the rather un unappetizing appearance will experience the perfect sweet and salty crunch of cockroach clusters. Let's smell it. Oh, that's not bad. But if cockroaches aren't your go-to treat, you can pick up the natural predator, peppermint toads. I don't like peppermints. This might not be good. These bite-sized mini minty morsels are sure to put a little extra hop in your step. I guess we have to smell them. Ew! Ew! I hate mint! Get that away from me! No! Sweet treats, exotic flavors, magic in every bite. There's no doubt that Honey Dukes is one of the best things about the wizarding world. With endless tastes to try and sense to savour, we're sure it won't take long for Honey Dukes to come up with another extraordinary sweet that will have witches and wizards lined up around the corner. Well, that's it. Uh... Okay, guys, I know I was mixing up my accents, Australian, British. That's because, well, apparently uh, the Harry Potter cast was going to Australia uh, at the moment when they were making this book. That's totally not true, guys, but um, just forgive me, would ya? I really need it. Did you guys like the book? I honestly, it smells really good. Some of the pages smell really good. But... It's time for the Unicorn Gift Review for Whimsical Wednesday. Uh, so I'm thinking I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5 Unicorn... No, Unicorn Gifts for this review this week. Because um, this book is just really good. And for as a Harry Potter fan, this is just an amazing book that I would really want to get as a gift. And um, that's it, guys. So I guess I'll see you when I flip to the next page. Bye! If you know a book collector or a Harry Potter collector, then this is an amazing gift to get them.